Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Super Ninja Boy, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I did a little bit of training, so now I'm at level 11. And my attack went up to 3. It was originally at 2. Yeah, big difference, I know. Well, technically, it's almost like a major increase from what I had before. Like a 50% gain, I mean, come on now, that's, no, that's a big deal, and now I gotta fight. Well, I was trying my best to avoid combat for the time being, especially within the first 30 to 40 seconds of the video. But I guess the only way I'm going to do that is if I was going over my status for like the 30 seconds, really. That's pretty much the only way. Oh my god, that guy's trying to go on the board again. So I guess I can still tussle with this freak. While I'm waiting for the other one and I get the board right in my ass. That's real nice. So I'm taking you out, and then I take you out. Perfect. Now all I have to do is just wait it out and before this guy comes to puff of smoke, and then we're done. Alright, so you get a nice amount of experience and a nice amount of money. Now there's two paths you can take around here. Don't go all the way down, because if you do, you... Excuse me? I turn 90 degrees and there's a battle? What I was about to say is if you go all the way down... You'll find some set of stairs, but they lead to a dead end. So what you want to do, well, you don't have to do this, but it's a nice little thing to show off. Go this way instead. And possibly deal with more battles. Which, thankfully, I could run away from. Again, I wish there was some magic you can reduce the encounter rate for a period of time. Yet, yeah, those are the stairs right there. Okay, so I'll place my boo bomb over here. And then we'll see what's beyond. Ooh, treasure! Chest. And no. Thank you for rescuing me! Actually, I think rescuing is spelled incorrectly. I'm Bonzibot! I can revive your partner in two player mode! Yeah, it's only good for two-player mode. If you're playing by yourself, Bonzibot is useless. But if you were playing with a second controller, which, as I said, you can do so even in the middle of your game, provided you go to a convenience store to make that happen, you can use Bonzibot to revive your character when they're defeated. Just remember that the stronger they are, like, say, the higher the level they are, the more you would have to pay to revive them. Which would kind of make sense. I mean, you see that a lot in tactical RPGs as well. Yes, I know all about tactical RPGs, even though I hardly play them ever. But I've played a little bit of Shining Force. Oh my god, I mentioned Shining Force. Sega's gonna sue me. Nah, just kidding. They're not gonna do that. Given the uh, bad reputation as of late. But, but that was like so long ago, a lot of people probably forgot about it. Except for the ones that were directly affected by it. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. So now I just want to head back to the middle part of the first room. And then we just got to go take another staircase. Which is actually to actually upward and to the left. So that's where we need to go. Like, this is not a large dungeon. But the encounter rates make... Encounter rate makes pretty much any room super long. Because you can only go like eight spaces and have like... 20 battles. That's beyond insane. You'll be strong for it if you get enough experience. Otherwise, you're just going to be wasting time. Especially if you have those battles within two or three steps of each other. So most of what I'm doing is just running away from the battles and only fighting the ones I can't run from. It'll cut down on the encounter rate just by avoiding some battles on purpose. Ah, there you are. Oh, now he's on the board. Okay, what the hell are you doing up there? I can't reach you from that spot. I mean, if I'm just getting extra Sen for this, I'm happy. Because I can use that when I get to town. Oh, jeez. Like, that can still hurt this guy. Just remember, I can't use my uh, somersault jump when the, on them when they're on the boards. All 
Alright, so far so good. And we should be done with that battle. Come on. Dissipate for me. Thank you. Okay, if I'm lucky, I might make it to level 12 before I get to the boss. Or maybe I should say, if I'm unlucky, I'll make it to level 12 before the boss. Because that means I have, like, a ton of battles before I even get there. And I'm running from pretty much all of them, really. Because I believe at level 11, you can easily defeat the boss. You should have no problems there. It's only if you had, like, 50,000 battles and you're completely worn out. Then it might be a problem. However, we're not at that point yet. Thankfully, when you do that moonsault jump, you can actually dodge the enemy attacks. That's another thing you can take into account. There. If you don't think you have enough time, just do the jump like that, and you should be safe. Otherwise, you might find yourself being hit by more than one shot, given how pro close they are in proximity to you. You know, they should at least just build a bridge over on the right side, so I won't have to go all the way around. Like, that is so inconvenient! They could have made it just shorter, just put the bridge, like, 90 degrees counterclockwise, then I wouldn't have to walk all the way. I know it's lazy, but come on! It's also even lazier not to have that kind of forethought. Like, no foresight whatsoever in the planning of the development of that bridge. Like, why make me go all the way around? If you're not there mostly to deal with intruders, what if you want to walk out there yourself? Well, these guys on the board, they have no big deal. They can just surf right over the lava. Or maybe that's... reddish water. Or period blood. I don't know what that is. May not even be lava. Then again, this is a mountain, so I wouldn't be surprised if it is. But it doesn't flow like that. Okay, so beyond here is gonna have our, be our first official boss battle. Who are you, boys? Kids have no business here. You must be the gang boss. Bring the idle fellows back to normal. No way. You kids are going to be another victim of Bongo Man's furious electric sound attack and turn into idle humans. Go ahead. See if it works on us. Spoilers, it does work on them. Well, it only petrifies them and only doesn't turn them apathetic completely. Okay, so when you go into fights, you can pretty much have, like, a random option as to what you're going to do. Whether you're just going to kick them or you're going to punch them. And you have no control over the second character unless you were playing two-player. Of course, you can still use your items. You can even use your Shogun Sword here if you... Ah, and sometimes you can miss. The Sonic Drum just hurts everyone. Who doesn't avoid the attack. Uh, so use your magic and use this to heal. I believe the Mighty Ball doesn't use NP, but rather those M's you've been storing from battle. And sadly, sometimes the enemy is immune to it. But it does a nice bit of damage. Okay, 30 NP still. That's good. But that Mighty Ball does a nice bit of damage, if you can actually use it. Yeah, so as you can see there, I still have 30 NP, which is great. So I can keep using the Mighty Ball until I have no more of those ends, which for some reason you cannot see. But still, it's a pretty nice gesture to know that you have a pretty powerful attack. And it doesn't go towards your ninja power. There we go. So I'm just going to keep spamming the Mighty Ball until I run out of them. And I might consider using my T-Stars instead. But then again, the T-Stars are actually quite useless. They don't do a lot of damage, sadly. Ugh, stop dodging the attack. Okay, I can't use it anymore. Alright, so let's try the T-Star. Remember, I still got 30 NP. I don't know how much the T-Star uses. Okay, it uses five. And it's not really that good. You're just better off using the Shogun Sword to attack. 
should definitely consider healing later on. There we go, just gotta keep it up. I'd say one more round of attacking and then I'm gonna heal. He hasn't really used his special attack yet, which can petrify you. In the worst case scenario, it'll petrify both of you. Luckily, if both people are petrified, they don't die instantly, but they take a nice bit of damage based on how long they're petrified. Remember, they can't defend themselves. There's Thunder Rock music, that's the attack. Okay, we almost got him. I might want to consider using my Cupsole just to uh, get rid of this uh, paralysis or petrification. There. Okay, now I should definitely use my Vitalizer. I think it heals everyone. Yep, it does heal everyone. That's great. Okay, remember, the T-Stars are not worth it. Just use your magic for the Vitalizer. And there we go! Ryu got the finishing blow, even though he's uncontrollable. We got 400 experience points, 200 sin, we level up. And we get the Red Aura Ball! Bongo Man's gun! The magic that made people apathetic should have worn off too! A red Ball? I have a feeling there is something about the ball. Let's go ask King Toro first. And if you go back in, there's nobody. So, unfortunately, the uh, escape leaf... Well, it doesn't allow us to actually leave. I mean, we have to go the long way. So I'll meet you back at a town. Give me a mo moment. Okay, several minutes later, and surprisingly, I did not gain a level. Now, the thing about the action sequences that we did in that cave before we got there, you don't have to do them in reverse. That's right. You wouldn't have survived without me. So now let's go see the king. Explain what, th what we're going to do with this red ball. You did a good job. The people in the city are becoming more and more active again. Tamako is very impressed with you. In fact, she's in love with you. Oh, father, don't. I'm so embarrassed. That's all right, Princess Tamago. By the way, are those red and yellow balls yours? Uh, that sounds very forward of you, but yes. Why? When I traveled around the world in my earlier days, I saw a ball like that in a place called Satoon. You need a hoverbutt to go there. Here is one for you. Accept this Arc de Travel as a token of our gratitude. Thank you very much, Princess Tamago. Visit my old friend Emperor Chin on the way. He might know something about Satoon. Take care! Oh, so I guess that's our next destination, Satoon. Yes, I know, they are very happy. Huh, you should be ashamed. Well, then go buy one! There's one for sale? Or are you too cheap? That being said, I might want to go shopping to buy more items. I should definitely buy some more bombs. Well, as much as I can afford. Well, actually, money is not an issue. But I should buy some more capsules because they did save me against Bongo Man earlier. And I should buy some more sweet buns just because. Oh, I can't buy any more. Buy some more dragon eggs. Oh, how much them? And now I should go to the convenience to save. No way, yeah. I, I, well, pretty much like do a checkpoint. Oh, I only need 20 more experience. So I was pretty close to leveling at the time. Now I should go to the inn to fully rest. Alright, so we're in a very good shape moving forward. So I think what I should do is head back to Yokan to see Emperor Chin. So why don't you give me a few minutes and I'll meet you there. Alright, I'm back. Let's go see the Emperor. I'm happy to see you back. Satoon? It's in the west somewhere. If you're heading west, stop at the fairy town and say hello to the fairies. We're good friends. Yeah, I can tell by the look of your eyes that you've gotten a touch with way too many fairies in your lifetime. Okay, fine. You still got nothing else to say, Notre Dame. Fair enough. 
Alright, so I guess we gotta go west to get to Satoon, and we gotta see the fairy village on the way. So this Arc de Travel will make this happen, because it's a hovercraft that can go across water. As long as it's very shallow water. Excuse me, I was burping inside. So, now that we got this Arc de Travel, and also I forgot to mention we do have new overworld music. And we still got the same amount of battles. This is beyond ridiculous. And yes, apparently enemies that weak can still catch up to you. But at least I'm stockpiling a lot of M's that I've used up against Bongo Man. In fact, you're going to be mostly using your M's against the bosses rather than against enemies. So don't be surprised about that. Alright, here's where you want to use the Arc de Travel. And you can use it automatically. In fact, I believe you don't have any encounters when you're on this thing. So that's a nice little bit of convenience. So now we're pretty much crossing the new territory here. I believe we gotta go all the way to the west. Find this bridge. And surprisingly, these enemies are still here. Maybe we just gotta cross this threshold first. My dad often tells me a story of his good old days. I'm tired of it. How unappreciative you are, Princess Leia. When my husband was a fisherman, he was really good looking. He enjoys talking about it to travelers these days. What, you're saying he's not good looking now? Oh yeah, I can understand why. I was a fisherman. I've been to many countries. There are lots of countries you don't know of in the world. Well, I only have a hovercraft, so I can't really see them all. At least I can do is just head over west to visit some new land. Oh, there's a town right away. Oh my god, I didn't have a battle in between visits. There's a town called Satoon where horrible evil live. A long time ago, they used to attack this king land. Since King Rommel made Satoon, or Rommel, they've never attacked it. It said that King Rommel is so very good looking. I'm better looking than he is, though! Ha ha! It didn't really do much for Kingland, though. So you're nothing that special. Welcome to the Hotel of Kingland! Uh, I don't know. It would seem like something named after Elvis. Hi, right, boys! Long time no see! Do you have a problem? If we did, we wouldn't really be talking to a goat with a mustache, would we? We'd talk about everything else with a goat with a mustache, but not our problems. We have a rare visitor at the hotel today. His name is Dr. 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 Just. Oh yeah, he's Dr. Justice. How could you forget the name of a goat with glasses and a mustache? Those are some of the things you never, ever, 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 ever forget. It's seared into your memory forever! Like losing your virginity! Hopefully not to a goat with a mustache. Okay, I definitely want to buy this level counter too. And I want to buy this sterling helmet. There we go. The Epi Saber. I'll replace the Shogun Sword. And sterling gear. So there, I'll be well updated. Reflect Star. Okay, apparently that's a new magic that replaces the T-Star. Well, it doesn't really replace the T-Star, but it's an upgraded version of it. So, I guess we'll pay our visit over here. That way, when we die, we'll warp here. Might as well talk to a couple other people, see if we get anything important other than flavor text. You're practicing with a sword and you like Princess Julia. Fair enough. And you want to be a swordsman, you're hanging around flowers. Nice combination. Hmm, apparently there's some kind of love thing between Princess Julia and King Rommel. Okay, so Princess Julia looks to be in the fairy village, but King Rommel's in Satoon? Huh, weird. Oh, hi. I'm King Asher of Kingland. King Rommel sure keeps the monsters quiet ever since he started ruling Satoon. He's as great as I am! Uh, no, he seems to be greater than you. 
I'm the Queen of Kingland. I want to see King Rommel privately, okay? Well, I can't really do anything about that. Hey, with great respect, the old... The King and Queen have freaking flavor text. How often do you see that? So there's nothing really special in Kingland, but I might as well go west of the fairy village. And fight right away. Okay, it looks like we got some new enemies. This is gonna be interesting. And new background. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the Epi Saber. This guy must have had way too much coffee. Oh, guy's an archer. And apparently these pallet swaps have nunchucks. Okay, is it just me, or can the arrows actually hit their own partners as well? Because I think that guy dropped his nunchucks. It must have been from that arrow. Up oh, here's another new one. I mean, it looks to be an armored pig. The things you see in this game. Okay, it looks like he has a shield. Does he have... Oh, he just snort out fire. But it looks like this Epi Saber works really well against a shielded foe. Damn it. Oh, and apparently he knows how to punch. Okay, apparently he can fire right away. So I gotta be very careful with that attack. And there we go. So how much further do we... Oh, looks like I see the village right away. Eh, sure, one more fight. I'm really liking this Epi Saber, though. It's very powerful. Compared to my regular punches. But I say later on, once I upgrade my fist, they should be better. I don't understand why these lizards are so angry all the time and so excited to fire their arrows. It's not going to do them any good if they miss. And they're not going to be happy. Let's mention gritting their teeth like that. That's got to hurt. Yeah, I'm going to skip this fight. Because it's too close in between battles. Oh, they live in a mushroom house. Welcome to Fairy Town. Princess Julia is so much in love with King Rommel. Yeah, I keep hearing about it. They're working on Project 3F. Project 3F is a special parcel device. Did you know that? No, I did not. My father is very stubborn. Being against the Project 3F, he started with King Rommel. My father shuts himself in the fairy tower. An errand bot they delivered for the project was taken away, too. He misunderstood it. I'm very sad. Just leave it to us. We'll drag him over here. Thank you very, very much. We use the word drag and she's happy about that. That sounds very violent. I don't know it would be very convenient. What are you talking about? The uh, Project 3F? I'm sure he has his reasons to be against it. Yeah, apparently they're sleeping and you can't walk past those bubbles. Strange, I know. The tower is southwest. After you go south from the town... Okay, so that's where I need to go. Fair enough. If you go to Misetu, visit Miss Finney on your way. Hmm... Okay, I suppose I'll do that. There doesn't seem to be an item shop. So I might as well just rest at the uh, convenience store and take it from there. Alright, so you know what? I'm going to stop the video right here. And then in the next episode, we're going to head over to Fairy Tower. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.